Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again with another Medal of Honor gameplay commentary for you guys. And today I'm playing combat mission mode on Helmand Valley as an attacker using the Rifleman class with the M16A4 veteran equipped with a red dot sight and an extra magazine as my attachments. And I'm breaking from my usual routine with this video in that I'm not going to be showing you the entire match. But I have a good reason for that and that is that this match lasted for over 27 minutes. And I didn't want to bore you guys with that much footage. I didn't want to have to break up the match into more than one video. And um, I didn't want to commentate for 27 minutes straight, to be completely honest. So those are kind of my reasons for not wanting to post the entire video. Hopefully you guys understand. But I have taken my two best lives from this match for, and uh, put them into this video. And hopefully you guys will enjoy. I get a cruise missile in each life. And this is the first match in which I've ever gotten more than one cruise missile. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's also the first match in which I've gotten more than 100 kills. So it's kind of a special match for me. Um, I'm pretty proud of this match and this footage, and I hope you guys will enjoy. And right here, we're working on the second objective. And basically what we're tasked with doing is we have to get up this hill and kind of hold down the, the area right in between these two mounted machine guns. So uh, I'm working up this right flank, and that's kind of the route that I recommend taking when attacking the second objective, because you do have this ammo box right here, but also because um, it's on the opposite side of the objective from the enemy spawn. The enemy spawn to the left and right behind the objective. So coming from the bottom right of the objective is obviously um, beneficial just because it t it'll take the defenders longer to uh, make their way over here to kind of try and uh, prevent you from attacking the objective. And then also, um, on the way up to this objective, there are ruins that provide some great cover. So, in terms of cover, another great thing to do as an attacker in combat mission is obviously to use the rifleman class. The smoke grenades come in handy like no other. I can't recommend the rifleman class enough. It's just so useful as an attacker in combat mission. And that's kind of why I was playing the way I was playing in this match, is that um, a lot of my teammates were playing as snipers, and that's not very useful as an attacker. You need a lot of riflemen, basically, is the uh, recipe for success. Uh, just <laughs> spam the rifleman class, and I guarantee you, if you throw down smoke enough, and sm throw it down well enough, and strategically enough, um, the defending team is not going to be able to do anything against you unless your teammates are just awful. But uh, if you have some, you know, even just average teammates and they're using smoke well, uh, you really do become a, a force to be reckoned with. But because we had so many snipers on this team, I knew that we weren't going to make much progress unless I started building up some really huge score chains. So that's kind of what I was doing in this life and the next life that I'm going to be showing you. I was just building up those score chains, getting those high level off offensive support actions and trying to clear out the objective areas as best as I possibly could. So I call in the airstrike right on the enemy spawn and I get a huge multi kill, but uh, I don't immediately call in the cruise missile and I have a good reason for that and that is I need to wait for the defenders to respawn. So what I'm doing right now is I'm watching the radar and allowing the UAV to show me when the enemies have respawned. And once I see a lot of orange uh, triangles, I go ahead and pull out my binox and uh, I go for the cruise missile launch. And right here I'm splitting the difference between the two enemy spawn points. That way uh, the large blast radius of the cruise missile will take out basically everyone on the enemy team. And it was pretty successful. As you can see by my score, I got 320 points from that cruise missile, which is pretty tremendous. And now I'm just uh, running into the objective area, taking advantage of the time it takes the enemies to respawn, and I'm helping to capture this objective. Um, and for the rest of this life, I'm just taking advantage of the double score that I'm getting for all of my actions. Basically what happens is when you've exhausted all of the support actions, and you've passed up that 600 score chain mark, you start getting... Uh, two times as many points as you would usually get for kills and headshots, kill assists, you know, everything. Everything gives you twice as many points. So uh, definitely take advantage of that. It helps you level up if, you're, if you still haven't maxed out your level, and it helps you uh, increase your skill level if uh, you're still working on that and want to improve that statistic. And right here I'm getting some nice M16 snipes in. 
Uh, I was doing that a lot this match, and I ended up getting accused of hacking as a result. Uh, some guy started spectating me, and he was like, you were sniping people in two or three shots with the M16. But uh, if you learn the recoil of this gun well enough, it's definitely um, a possibility that you'll become a, an adept sniper with this gun. Because uh, I think it only takes two or three headshots, even at max range, to uh, kill your enemies with the M16. And obviously, if you're using open tip ammo, it happens even quicker. Um, so headshots are a very important skill to master if you uh, work on your aiming abilities uh, you should start to just rack them up as second nature but anyway here we are at the fourth objective which is yet another roadblock that we as attackers have to destroy so I throw down some smoke to cover the advancement of one of my teammates who is attempting to arm the charge and then I hang out on this little debris pile right here and prevent any of the defenders from disarming and this is a great spot to kind of camp the t-spawn from just because the defenders have to come from the same direction in which i'm currently facing in order to disarm so as long as your aim's on point on point you should be able to prevent any of them from successfully disarming um, and as long as you're able to arm the charge in the first place and uh, you hang out in this spot you should be able to uh, quickly go through it but um here I kind of just keep running back and forth, back and forth, because I heard an enemy making some voiceovers, and I wanted to make sure to clear out the area before we progress to the fifth objective. Um, but since I am just starting to build up this second score chain, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what's been going on with this channel that I've liked and some of the things um, that I plan on doing in the future. So. Number one, I wanted to thank you guys for the great response I received with my previous Medal of Honor gameplay commentary where I talked about uh, some of the health problems that I'm currently facing uh, in my life. You guys were really nice, really supportive, left lots of thumbs up, and I am very, very thankful for that. You, I, I opened up a bit more than I usually do, uh, talked about myself uh, in a bit more detail than I have in the past, and you guys were fantastic about it, so thank you guys for that. Um, also, as you guys probably know, Black Ops is coming out this Tuesday, at least in the US. I don't know, I don't know if it's a worldwide release everywhere on the 9th, but uh, anyway, I was just wondering what you guys were interested in terms of content regarding Black Ops. Uh, do you even want to see Black Ops footage? I know a ton of people are going to be covering it, but I like to think that I am will be able to you know, bring something different to the table. I don't know. Um, but if you are looking forward to Black Ops footage from me, let me know what you want to see. Do you want me to do just map walkthroughs using the theater mode? Do you want me to show you the single player, the offline multiplayer with bots, or uh, you know, co-op, or what do you want to see, basically? Um, and if you don't want to see Black Ops at all, then what do you want to see in terms of Medal of Honor and Battlefield Bad Company 2 content? I have seven Battlefield Bad Company 2 live commentaries just sitting on my hard drive right now. So those are coming up in the near future. And uh, in terms of Medal of Honor, I'm still enjoying this game. I think it might die upon the release of Black Ops, which is unfortunate. But, um, you know, I still enjoy playing it, so I'm going to continue to make Medal of Honor content. Probably not at the same rate that I have been recently, but, um, yeah. Anyway, so that's about it in terms of channel news. Uh, here I've unlocked the Artillery Strike, and I usually don't use the Artillery Strike when I unlock it. Uh, I much prefer the defensive support action, which I believe is FMJ ammo, just because... The artillery strike comes in really, really quickly, and it doesn't have a huge blast radius, so if you call it in on the wrong spot, uh, it can turn into a pretty epic fail, and I mess up with it on a regular basis, so I just choose not to use it at all. But uh, the strafing run, on the other hand, is a support action that originally I did not like to use because I failed with it very, very frequently. But I kind of figured out how to maximize its effectiveness. And basically what you have to do is you have to call it in where you don't want the strafing run to land. You want to call it in right in front of the area you want to be bombed. Because the point 
on the map, which you mark as your target, is actually the spot at which the jets stop bombing. So you want to call it in right in front of your target, and then the bombs will hit everything up to that point. So it's kind of weird how, how that works, but uh, that's kind of what I've discovered from using it. So hopefully that tip will help you guys out the next time you call it in. But I call in the airstrike, get a nice multi-kill, wait a bit, call in the cruise missile, and I get another nice multi-kill. And during the time it takes the uh, defenders to respawn, my teammates are able to get into the objective and arm it. So pretty successful match. Uh, it was slow going, obviously, just because we had so many snipers, specifically at the beginning of the match. Uh, it seemed like a lot of them switched to the rifleman class towards the end, but the beginning was definitely uh, tough going, and luckily we, we were able to win the match, though. Um, but right here I get taken out by a mortar strike, and then that's basically the end of the match. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am pretty proud of how it, how it turned out. And the match ended up going for 27 minutes, 38 seconds. My final score was 111 and 14 deaths. So that's pretty crazy. I don't know what the KDR is on that. I think it's like 8 or something like that. And my final score was... 3446 points. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and I will see you guys later. Bye.